buried by some mud and then it, it will set and so you get these bands okay and it lives in this restricted vertical zone and the bank over there you can see them preserved in, in this and then above that comes the the seaside aerograms pioneer colonies so you can survey those sorts of vertical ranges and then ask where in the inner tidal zone does this stuff form. And essentially these are, the fossil ones are higher now than, than the modern ones. So there's probably been some uplift. So you can imagine that, uh, say, say during the earthquake that this drops five feet and during the first two weeks afterwards the land recovers half of that. Then you'd have only the room to make two and a half feet worth of deposit. Right. So that's that's kind of the that's kind of the uh, the, the challenge, but the uncertainties in using the the organisms that are quite cosmopolitan are huge, and so what the five feet I gave you could be anywhere between I don't know two or three feet and out to out more. Uh, the diatom paleontologist who looked at this thought that this was this had evidence for di from diatoms for three meters of, of land level change and. The foraminifera people, they've looked at this and and they think that they have less than a meter. So you go to meet them, so, uh, so we're in between. <laughs> Somebody, someplace like Stony Point, which may have rock interface, yeah, yeah, yeah. could that rock have subsided five feet and then it's not going to rebound much, but let's say it does, but then the sand or mud covers those um, barnacles maybe, or maybe there's something, an organism there that's currently buried. Does that hard rock give you a better measure because it's not physically being manipulated quite as much as the... I see. I don't know, Stony Point's the only place I could think of right now. There's another place up by the lower nacelle that has rock along the shoreline, but it's trying to think of areas that have rock, you know, that yeah. may sink, but I don't know. Just... But you could have, you could have before, before an earthquake, you could have a bunch of their rock underwater. Right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it doesn't really tell you where you are. Yeah. Where could the rock be on top of the mountain? Yeah, exactly. Or did it uh, roll down because of the earthquake? Does everything draw 